Hi Scorpio, Sun, Moon and Rising. Welcome to the Avalon Rituals Divination Temple. My name is Julia. Thank you for tuning in. This is the Divination Temple because I am actually going to use three different methods to build your reading now. And it's going to be the Tarot reading, the Linomore and the I Ching. I'm super excited. I hope you enjoy this. I just literally got inspired to do this today for you guys. And before we start, I would like to play the singing bowl for you. This is a 432 hertz uh, frequency, so it's extra healing and relaxing. So uh, plus it is, as you can see, a uh, purpley type of a violet type of uh, color for the crown chakra. So I hope you enjoy this a little tuning in with the singing bowl. And after that, we go straight into your reading. So I'm going to change the camera perspective so that you can see the cards as well. Okay, Scorpio, let's start with the Linamore cards here. I'm going to pull three cards to get an idea what your reading is about. Um, of course, today is the 7th of September, so you could say this is a September reading, but in case you listen to this one or two weeks after September, basically in October, I do feel like if you have been called or drawn to this video, then this video might have some information for you. So um, yeah, I would say the time is a little bit more fluid, uh, fluid, fluid. Well, a little bit more flexible in this one here, in this video. So, let's see. Okay. So, we do have strength here. We do have spirituality or clarity. And we do have a journey, or this could refer to your hopes, dreams and wishes. This could also be a very influential person coming into your life. Uh, it could be a very spiritual connection coming into your life. Maybe you have a spiritual connection and you're going to take a journey. I want to know um, and want to know more, of course, which is why I'm now uh, pulling cards with the tarot. And let's just see how this refers to what we see here at the tarot. Okay, it seems like, hmm, well, oh wow, let's see where this is going to, how exciting, well, Queen of Pentacles in the middle of the reading, okay, bottom of the deck, we do have two of cups, which could be a soulmate connection. Um, okay, let's see here. Well, that looked so far so good. I have to say now the whole situation looks a little bit like intense. Um, well, oh, let me just get here. Okay, so what I can see is at the center of the reading is the Queen of Pentacles. I get the feeling that it is important that you hold your energy. For me, the Queen of Pentacles, it's such a good example for self-care, for nurturing yourself, for really being grounded and stable within yourself, no matter what's going on around you. And I do feel like this is the center of, I mean, it is the center of this reading here. So the bear can stand for your strength, um, 
and maybe spirituality is giving you some sort of strength i also feel like you have a strong soul purpose here going on and no matter what is falling apart or what is falling away it seems like um this is part of your divine purpose uh there might be some love that is being offered to you maybe someone is approaching you but for some reason we do have the devil here in combination with the eight of uh, the eight of swords so it's it might be that this is a codependent situation or something where you feel like chained to something that you actually don't really want to be. Maybe this connection here is making you feel a little bit unfree. Um, yeah, as I've said, the king of... Let me just see. Okay, we have the knight of wands. We have the knight of cups. And we do have the page of swords. So potentially we do... And well, uh, the queen of the pentacles, of course. So technically we have now every, th every sign here. So I'm not going to mention the different signs here. But it does seem like someone is offering um, the cup of love to you. Um, maybe you want to offer the cup to someone else. But I do somehow feel that this is not a really good healthy connection. Because one of you guys is feeling like a little bit trapped in this situation. So it might be that there's a tower moment where something is going to fall apart. But I do feel like it's important that you hold your center here in this situation. We do have the page of swords here, which is also new ideas and new enthusiasm coming in. So I do feel like whatever it is that is falling away here, it seems like this is actually giving you a little bit like, uh, how, do, how do you say this in English? Uh, I would say Aufschwung in German. Um, yeah, it's going to be, it's like, okay. Let me explain it Explain it in a different way. It feels like something really has weighed you down and made you feel a little bit unfree and not able really to move or maybe you weren't able to move forward with someone here and this is why the tower uh, needs to come down because that's a sudden plot twist or a sudden change in this situation. It might be that this person was uh, the one who changed things here with you um, but I do feel like after that there comes some sort of relief energy. We do have also the holding on to here so I'm not sure if this person is completely out of your life. It might be that there's uh, something going on that is very passionate with you but also you are looking back onto the past, onto your past and that it feels like, it almost feels like you... Um, you have how do you say this you you got burnt in the past and um there are wounds from the past that you look on to where it feels maybe a little bit difficult for you uh, to move forward but we do have here the energy of holding on to something maybe you're holding on to the wounds i'm not sure uh maybe this situation here was not really working in a love way but maybe it's working in a creative way or maybe as i've said this is more like a passionate uh, romance or a passionate uh, affair um but i do feel like there seems to be a lot of well with those two cards i would say there's a as a uh, that's an old soul connection um but it also could be that someone is moving away from this situation because the ship could also mean not really wanting to commit which would make sense with those cards here so yes maybe there is a strong attraction you feel with someone but either you or the other person is like moving away maybe this is also because this person might be coming from a far away place and not living in your immediate environment let's see what your your energy is here in this situation what is scorpio's energy um well yeah i'm gonna pull more um just i just want to have one card or a maximum of two cards here it reduce you a very tricky situation related to a partnership and uh withdrawal here so okay now we have two okay yeah so it does feel i do feel like this is your card here uh, no matter of the gender this is a personal card so we do have here you being very stable and secure and that's the energy of this person here which i do sense as a very good thing that you are just very stable and secure within yourself maybe your work is also giving you a lot of stability and strength here that could be the case as well um so even if the situation around you seems to be a bit chaotic it seems also like you are very stable 
So what is the, let me see, what is the challenge or the blockage? Oh, one card was upside down, which is emotions. So it might be that emotions, feelings were blocked, which of course could be the case here. No. What is the, no. what is the blockage? What is the challenge, the blockage or the obstacle here? Mm, yeah, I do feel like there was a challenge related to the tree and the tree is something also where it's growth. It's something really growing and something really becoming stable. So we do have stability here twice, but I do feel this is about this connection and I do feel this a growth of this connection is blocked for some reason. I don't know why, I mean, like I said, maybe one of you couldn't move further or didn't want to move further for some reason. Let me see what is supporting you. Hmm, actually, a decision. So, hmm, okay, I do feel like you are very stable and there is a bit of chaos around you. And that could have to do with an old soul connection here, or a very spiritual connection. But I do feel for some reason this didn't went further. It was like relatively soon there was a cut. Maybe you or the other person uh, sensed some red flags here. Or maybe this other person was still involved with someone else or you were involved with someone else as well. Uh, this is why you couldn't go further here. Uh, actually, the decision is giving you the strength. And this is what I see here. This is what I meant. Like, I feel like after this tower moment, I do feel like there is a new lightness, a new freshness in this situation. So let's see where this is leading to. Ha, and the ship again. Yeah, I do feel like it's actually leaving, uh, leaving, leaving is the key word here, like it's leading to leaving. Um, even though we do have the energy here of something or, or to holding on to something, uh, maybe there's a great passion between you guys. Mm, but I do feel like one of you is leaving here. What I want to do now is take a look at the I Ching. So you have number 19 and also there's no changing line. So it's not going to develop to something different. Moving towards your goal. I dreamed that as I wandered by the way, bare winter suddenly was changed to spring. That's the, uh, that is the first sentence. And what I am doing here is I'm reading the opportunity for personal growth. And let's see if that is relating uh, to the situation. Do not allow yourself to become too comfortable just because things are beginning to go well. This is indeed the start of a period of growth, but do not assume that you can simply sit back and let things happen. You must play your part in nurturing the situation so that long-term success is assured. Work hard to take maximum advantage of the opportunities offered. Keep on top of things in order to notice the smallest signs of deteri deterioration. Any potential problem must be nipped in the bud. In your relationships, pay, attentions, uh, pay attention to the needs of others. This favorable time will not last indefinitely, but if you establish strong foundations now, you will move safely through more difficult times in the future. So, well, this is talking in terms of relationship, as you just listened, that it's important to take a look at other people's needs and that you actually do have the potential to establish a strong foundation. Um, but for some reason, this is also blocked. So I'm not sure really if you are able to really, because this is the card of the strong foundation here. Um, I'm not sure if you are able to really establish this strong foundation. Um, maybe we will see in the next reading, who knows. Uh, I hope this helped. If so, leave a like, a comment or subscribe to the channel. Um, also, let me know how you find the combination with the I Ching. Um, I'm just thinking, is there anything else that I could... <sighs> like I said, I I do feel like this is more about relationships here. 
um, also referring again to the I Ching, but for some reason it seems like someone is leaving again or, or maybe you are the one leaving this situation because uh, as I've said the ship is also a sign for not wanting to commit. So maybe that is the thing here that you you or the other person felt like oh my god now I need to commit and I don't want to commit for whatever reasons and that's why you guys felt trapped um, or one of you felt trapped and this whole thing needed to come down but for some reason this coming down is leading to you like feeling a little bit more lighter so yeah i would absolutely love to know your feedback for this reading here sending you so much love and blessings from avalon